Hello everyone and you're welcome to GBFM48 tutorial and I'm Udurole Mojibola. Today I'm going to be teaching us how to create this comfy braided slide. I'm sure you'll be wondering what did I actually do or insert into this leather to make it, you know, comfy and then um, puffy like this. Just sit back and I'll be right back. The first thing I'm going to be introducing us to is the materials I'm going to be using to stuff our comfy braided slide. Now, if you look at this, it is Mako. We call it Mako. It's ever, it's ever foam. They also, it's also called ever foam. So this one has a thickness of two millimeter. You can use that, which is two millimeter. You can use that, which was, which is one millimeter. It depends on, on how comfy or how stuffy you want your slide to be so you can make use of this marker you can also make use of this material it's called wording some call it stay some call it padded stay or what but majorly it is a wording so it's it, this one has about um three to four millimeter thickness it's about three rather or just a little bit thicker than our marker so you can use this particular thickness or a lighter or thicker one it depends on how you know stuffy and how comfy you want it to look like you can also make use of foam this kind of foam you can they, they sell them in different yards because this one would easily press that's why you see that the size i'm using is about 10 millimeter is is almost about 10 millimeter the the thickness so definitely whatever you are using for the stuffing and the 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 you don't know, to enhance that braid to look just as smooth and as beautiful as it is make sure that you work with any of this particular material that's what we're going to be using to stuff it now for me i'm going to be making use of 1.5 centimeter i'm going to just use this as an example is the same application for all of them i'm just going to make use of this as an example so i'm going to make use of 1.5 my width is 1.5 you can make yours wider than that if you want it to be wider so my own is 1.5 and your length if you are making use of 10 inch length make sure that you had about 10 percent of your original length to the length because by the time we braid it it will have reduced so i'm going to say that now if i need 10 inch length i'm going to make use of 11 inch length so that after braiding it will perfectly be okay so i'm just going to cut out my my strap before i go ahead with wrapping it with my leather for the wrapping since i have uh, my 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 marker strap to be 1.5 centimeter i'm going to make use of a leather strap of 3.5 centimeter to wrap it i'm sure you'll be wondering why since this full part is 1.5 i need 1.5 to cover it up closely on this side and considering the thickness i also have to add about two millimeters so that i can have it perfectly wrapping this particular ever foam now i'm going to measure 3.5 so whatever the width of your marker or foam or wording is make sure you you add you double it which means if it is two if you're making use of two centimeter it means your leather strap will be four centimeter and you have to also consider the width which is why i'm adding the extra is 0 0.5 centimeter on mine so i'm just going to make i'm going to quickly draw out 3.5 centimeter and then about 20, 25 centimeter length. Don't forget that the length has to do with whatever length your style, your your last is. You know, each of us, each sizes has different style, has different width. After drawing it out this way, I'm just going to apply gum all around it. Since I'm going to wrap it all over it, I'm going to apply my gum this way. So. I'm also going to apply my gum on the marker strap as well. So, I'm going to apply it on it as well. So, when it's dry, we are going to wrap it all around it. As you can see, 
it is now dry please don't forget that our we are going to apply gum on this side and on this side because as long as i'm going to place it on this particular one i need to apply gum so that it can stay so i applied gum on both sides so let's make sure you put it at the center this is not setting very well so you can just adjust this now you can see what i have so i'm just going to try to bring it together this way if you if like now i'm noticing that it will not be at the center so i just want to reduce it a little bit if you think it's going to be too wide you can easily reduce it please because we don't want it to overlap i want it to be side by side by the time i wrap it around it so i don't want it to be too long too wide so you can see you can even just place it down this way and wrap as you can see this one is now coming over it make sure they are meant to please so that nobody will easily see what is in there as you can see you can see the way it's closing up you can see it you can see the way it's closing up so we are going to gently do that and make sure that it's all closed up so after this wrapping we are just going to quickly move to braiding our comfy braided slide so let me quickly show us i've taught us how to braid but i'm just going to show us briefly once again if you want to know more about braiding and basket weaves generally when it comes to slide and sanders check the description for the link i'm just going to quickly braid this for us to see let me quickly start with a three braid i've taught us this before i just want to quickly run over it so it's the same way you braid your air as you can see this is the three you can start this way place this on this way it's just the same way we braid our air. You can see it. So that is how we get our comfy braided slide. You can see the way it looks. So let's quickly go to five. Now, this is five. This is five. I'm going to start from this, but you can see it. I'm going to start from this particular one, the second and the third one. So I'm going to try and and cross it over themselves this way then bring this particular one on top of it i'm going to put this one under it then this one will go under not up under it and i'm going to pass it over this and over this and this is what i have for five i'm going to go this way and go this way please check more on this in the comment section if you want to see how I was able to achieve this just check the comment section for the link to how to make braids i just want us to see the way our comfy slide will look like as you can see so if you use foam you will find out that the way it will look puffy is not the way it will look puffy anytime you use wording and each time you use marco is also going to be different you can see how this look like so what i'm going to do now let me quickly show us how to make the four this is five this is three let me quickly show us how to make the four now see what i have for four i'm just going to assume that they have crossed over themselves this way i will bring this up this way as you can see it is going to come this way this particular one goes under it and i have this and it goes this way i have this it goes this way and goes this way this goes this way this and this and this and this and this i think using marco will be a lot more better because you can easily assess marco as you can see what this look like you can see how this look like and this four braid is really looking very beautiful and lovely so you can use three you can use four you can use five as well just make sure you stuff it with either marco or wordy or foam just for you to get this comfy look on our comfy braided slide i want to believe you've enjoyed today's tutorial if you are new in my channel don't forget to subscribe and like and press the like button as well share the video and let others enjoy as well thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye